Americans, how are we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? We all know that I love and everybody in the city, we all eat it up. We eat it up that each room's a different X challenge. Not partner as in algebra. I loved algebra. I would, I know that's an unpopular opinion, but for me, algebra, me and algebra like that. Two peas in a fucking pod. Anyway, so today I thought, let's do this, but incorporate the Sims 4 horse ranch and it's going to be each room is a random horse breed. Now I am clickbaiting you a little bit with the thingy of random horse breed and it's because I already did record the intro for this one and with the random horse breed everyone that I got was just brown and black as you can see like so I didn't just want to have each room as the same color way you know so I thought let's go into coat color and pattern and just randomize that because I did already test this and you do get a lot more different colorways for the first one okay that's kind of like a reddish brown white and gray we can work with that and you know what we've even got the color things right there next one <gasps> Ooh, it's like a light beige a grayish if you will that's not grayish i just know the word grayish okay i'm gonna skip here because we've pretty much already got you i'm gonna randomize it oh, 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 oh. right interesting very plenty of color nice i'm not gonna lie I, I do want this one right here honestly i'm kind of feeling this one this one's gonna have to be a space themed room space girl I'm gonna build the shell i have built the shell i actually think that i may have chosen much too big of a lot so i'm just gonna pretend that the entrance to the lot is here and then that's just gonna be the entrance and this bit it just blow your eyes okay just pretend that you don't see that bit this bit is up to, i don't even know why you're looking at it in that area anyway because it's literally it doesn't even exist you know what just for distraction i'm going to put a massive tree maybe that will draw your eyes closer to action but you know what ignore that i'm i'm going to just take i'm going to take the lead on this one and i'm just going to ignore it and then we'll just ignore it together and we'll both be so happy because it's ignored anyway i feel much better now that i don't have to sit and wonder about what each room's going to be because here i can just say yeah do you know what the outside this horse is going to be the outside Oh, I feel much better now, actually. I feel much better, guys. Honestly, I was I was looking at the building. I was actually genuinely quite scared. Why aren't you reaching the top? Oh, because you don't go out far enough. Okay. One thing that I think really helps finish off a house is obviously you'd place columns here. Otherwise, what is the roof support? It's literally nothing. I mean, the roof's got my support, but you know, it can only go so far. But if you place them on the edge of walls like that, that just makes a house look so much more complete. You can place them on the inner ones as well, but sometimes, especially if you're working on a small lot, sometimes that can kind of look too too much so just on the outer ones it just kind of pulls it together it makes it feel a real if you will oh i also want to incorporate these i mean that does look like the horse she's looking quite cute i'm not gonna lie that's bothering me that that's just like slightly off you think if i moved it one over oh why have you got to be a bitch why have you got to be a fucking bitch at the end of the day why why just why am i gonna have to move the house all one in front just so it matches up i do think i'm gonna have to do that yeah oh, but now that bit doesn't match up all right well do you know what you can have a big back garden it may not have done much but it makes me feel settled mm. i mean it is bothering me a bit but at least it's like evenly out there do you know what i mean yeah I don't mind it. Maybe I do, actually. Maybe I just put... But then it's just like, I'm just looking at so many posts. And why is there so many... I'm going to ignore it, guys. I'm going to ignore it. Because hopefully, like, once we place more, it'll kind of distract you from the fact that there's just random posts there. Or, potentially, do we have one that's not got, like, random bits there? Maybe that. Yeah, I might prefer that. It looks a lot more subtle. Or maybe that where it's just all of them. Or ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. I think we could potentially have a winner. And then it still looks kind of ranchy. Mm, I don't feel like that's necessarily matching our vibe. I might have to put a wood one there that feels like the horse more i actually think it, this would look really cute if we just used some of this white thing flatten sliding whatever you call it i might even go for like a red roux maybe not like red but dark brown like the horse so that's kind of like the horse but does that match a ranch see this is the issue with the fact that i haven't seen a ranch do you know what i mean like i couldn't say yeah that's an appropriate ranch i'm just working on pure fucking vibes here i would say that's the most ranchy i'm loving it actually the horse is quite maroon like it's got a reddish tint to it I like that. I think that suits the vibe of the horse. And it's got the, the brown and the white and everything. I don't mind that window. Actually, I think that window's going to be it because then it's got the grey of the hooves as well. Slay. Does that have any smaller ones? Oh, it's got like a mini, mini one. That could be cute for right next to that. One of my biggest issues is I always place windows before I've done the floor plan. And then I, I, like, I start doing the floor plan. And I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuck. Fuck. Right, I might change that door and window depending on what I actually end up doing with the floor plan. So far, the outside is looking nice. I like it. I would say it's like 60% brown and 60%... That is literally not math. It's 60% brown, 40% white. So I feel like that's a good mix. I think we'd have to keep the floor quite brown. Let me put these in. I only need a small one. This is like the perfect size, but I don't know if it's the perfect shade. But fuck it. I can just pretend it's the perfect shade. That's like an odd place for a chimney. But you know what? I'm not going to focus on chimney.
chimneys. Do we have any red trees? We do have red trees. This is beautiful. Well, this is going to be... Ah, uh, it's not quite brown enough. I need like an an autumn-y. I think this might be the closest I can get to it because the rest of the trees are too green and there is nothing green about this horse. I think they might suit the best. Oh, or even... That could work. I mean, it's a bit too light of a colorway, but... Bingo! Oh, not on the roof. Oh, we have rocks as well. We don't really have many plants, so I don't know how much we can make these rocks fit in but i will give it a go maybe if we go into actual like decorative plants we might have more yeah i might get rid of the rocks and just put some planters in yeah, i don't mind how that's looking i could just put a bunch of barrels or something oh we could even put one of these out on the front no that looks too much doesn't it maybe in front of the tree and this looks like the type of family that would definitely have one of them bad boys <gasps> would they have a scarecrow i want to be able to fit a scarecrow in we have three colorways i think this one because then out here what we could also have that would fit in with the colorways are they, which, are these ones are oversized what's the difference i've literally got no idea but if we build this up then we can actually you know how i told you to ignore like the entire back bit but you know what keep ignoring a lot of it mind your business on that front but for this bit this could be a nice garden and it fits in with the colorway i'm literally a fucking genius okay, this looks a little bit odd i might put fencing around it to kind of section it off okay slay Ooh! yeah that looks better it looks more like it has a purpose i'm just gonna outline these don't mind maybe not with a circle brush maybe with a square brush then one way i always make houses feel lived in i say always this isn't always this is like purely when i can be asked i outline the house and also any natural like ways of where i can imagine my sims going like obviously my sims are going to walk from here to here a lot it's probably going to be like a walkway around the beehive it's going to have naturally like ruined the grass a little bit just because this is in the shade same with under trees to make them look like that actually belong there and then also natural footways one thing that i love like i have a deep rooted interest in desire paths if you don't know what desire paths are it's basically pathways that humans have made that are quicker and like but they go against the actual paths that maybe like a city has designed you know when you cut through a forest and you want to go a sideway and then there's like clearly like a sideway that you can use but it's just people have naturally done it that's what that's what desire paths are love desire path actually really intrigued by them one thing about humans we are going to be lazy and that's that okay i like it well the outside is done i actually love her i think she is a huge slay 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 so the first room that we've got is for this light brown and dark brown horse i need to do the floor plan first and then we will actually see what we've got i've also like spent every single bit of my money on the outside so let me just cheat quickly i know that you can literally type money and then the amount I just love the song love the song love the song <laughs> like i actually genuinely the noise of it makes me so happy i don't even understand i've probably placed the doors in the worst possible situation because this is like a walkway i'm gonna have this maybe this is the kitchen with the a little dining room here or something just move that door over a little bit kitchen there it's gonna be an odd shape but fuck it i move that door over there a little bit as well kitchen little dining room with the living room over here which means this is bedroom and spare bedroom i'm gonna section off the living room just because i saw some people say that it's actually quite realistic for ranches to be thingy off i'm gonna put lights in first off so i can fucking see you my eyes they have been opened but yeah this is quite a light oh so i think something like that for the doors the only issue with this type of stuff is it does come in, 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 into a bit of a juxtaposition with the rest of the house when we move on to that bit. That's just a bit too dark. I think it's going to have to be this one. You might be thinking that's a fucking odd kitchen placement. I'm actually fucking with it, I'll be honest. Fucking with that. When they go out me, I'm going to be fucking with it. I fucked around and found out and I fucking loved it. We do have a little bit of black around the nose, so I might operate that with that. I think the only place I can put an oven really is there. That kind of fits. I mean, the, the fridge then does not it. there we go that still doesn't look quite right but it is the same swatch so it is what it is i also might change that and put this as a little cheeky cheeky end bit i like that kitchen it's she's different she's literally not like the other kitchens well i'll just put that on top of there because i hate having just one row of like these tiny kitchen tops that kind of fits looks like the fridge was actually meant to go there actually the might say it was fit actually i'm gonna get rid of that and have that there i mean that window looks pretty squashed but don't even worry about that darlings because i'm gonna cover all of my mistakes with the curtain so do not stress there you go now you can't even tell that she's like absolutely trapped in there you wouldn't have a clue now for tables we can only really have a small table and i'm hoping that there'll be some type of colorway that mixes both of the colors you know what they say about hope breeds eternal misery do you know who said that spencer hayes 
listings, pretty little liars. I, honestly, I, I heard that quote and I was like, this is deep. And I'm 14. And now I'm like, yeah, I hope Brits turn on this rear. <laughs> to cut my wrist and black my eyes. That's how I feel. Like, I do think, I do remind myself of Michael Scott because half the time, like, I really relate to him when he said, sometimes I start a sentence and I don't know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. And I'm like, yeah, that is me. I don't know if this is going to be usable. I don't. I might move the, the archway over to there a bit so I can kind of sneaky sneak that in there. Or would it be better if I snuck you snook that in there and move the arch over there? Yeah, I think that's better because then it doesn't feel like it's shoved up against the counters. Right, you know what? I don't mind that. In fact, I actually think to keep on brand with it, it's like a... Mo mo it was maroon... I feel like it needs to be like that color. We'll go with that one. I mean, I know that it's an issue with the woods that obviously don't match very well. I think part of the reason I prefer these types of challenges as well is because the rules are so like out there. It's like, well, do you know what? You literally can't fucking fail at it. But I mean, you can fail at it because there's no real way to succeed. You can go into this with the absolute best intentions and you will absolutely fail this challenge no matter what it is. Like if it doesn't even, it doesn't matter if it's a, each room is a different pack because there will be one pack that fucks you over if you don't reset. And I like to not reset because i love the challenge oh sasha done one recently that i want to do and it's each room's a different time limit oh that one would be a bastard because i think i would struggle just as much like say if i had to make a room in five minutes i don't know why i've put that over there you can stare you look quite cute yeah i think i'd struggle regardless the color theme is I, I do feel like i need a lighter wood so i might put a lighter wood on there like that and then i might bring no sorry i might bring the warmth through on the floor see if you were just a little bit more red you'd be perfect but you were too red and you have me feeling like fucking goldilocks i think maybe that's the best match to the head no i think that's oh i don't know yeah 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 you know what i'm just gonna have confidence in my decisions yes that's the best match to the hair uh maybe not i think that's a good match it's decent and i'll just put brick behind there uh, i don't like how it's looking it's looking sparse i think i need some uh, like strong if that makes sense to go behind here to kind of frame it i might put two of them they don't really they're not really on theme but you don't know the people who live here might have a granddaughter who's like an artist and they've sent other stuff over like don't judge this family unless you know them. i'm gonna put a wicker rug there that'll do for me do you know what i mean I hate that though oh Oh, I'm gonna sorry I'm gonna I'm, I'm losing it a little bit because that's fucked me right off with the kitchen I think I am just gonna do wood on the kitchen backdrop there's lots of mixed woods going on here that's just the price we've got to pay oh <gasps> next horse the next horse we have is truly unique with this one i'm gonna to have to include some type of like stripes or animal print i think i might leave this one for the living room so we've got black i would say honestly i would say an orange and dark brown it's kind of groovy honestly groovy don't worry i won't do that to you i'm just jesting see that colorway is right but i feel like this this is such a i mean a modern horse which feels weird calling a horse modern do you know what i mean but that's what the horse is the horse looks modern this horse has seen an eye phone which is making it really difficult for me to decorate but the black i might try and like pull it in a little bit maybe with some wood what yeah that might work or i might have the black as the feature wall that has the lines down it and obviously the horse has got lines on it so that could kind of bring in the lines i mean it really like huge difference to the rest of the house yeah that's got to be it i really want to bring in the brown with the curtains but I don't know if that's going to be a possibility we have those curtains yeah no i'm just going to do those curtains and then i think as well with the fireplace i think i'm going to bring the brown through in the fireplace i need a really sleek fireplace because this horse is sleek okay we need more sleek brown fireplaces because none of these fireplaces are given sleek unfortunately i think that might fit the best i had a vision in my head like i wanted a proper 70s maybe that i think it's because i'm so no it's got to be that one that one is so this horse oh jeez you know what this horse fucking icon i didn't expect to love this horse as much as i loved it but that horse she's going places i don't know what places i don't know if it's good places but she's going to them i wish we could click on here and click like styles and click strike or something because the sims 3 obviously it had create style but the search on create style was actually good mm. i think i need to include these chairs because they've got a kind of not like a zebra print but it's got some type of animal print and i think that represents the horse a bit but i could be talking out my ass as well do you know what i mean that i didn't expect to find a stripey end table Peter, the horse is here that is 100 percent this horse that table probably i mean you know what i fucking did i'll be honest i didn't expect it guys i really did not expect it right dark brown i'm gonna do dark brown and orange i'm gonna fill it by those two i think black's just gonna pull up too much that's kind of giving it maybe not so much the colors but the the style of it but then again but it, the horse isn't green mm. i'm gonna leave both out and then we also have this one 
I guess. And this one. And that one. I feel like that's it, mostly the stripes, but not mostly the colours. That's mostly the colours, maybe. So I think these two can go, and I think it's between this one and this one. Which one looks more like the heart? I think it's that one, actually. Which makes me sad, because it fits the space that the worst. Now we've just got this blank space. Now write your name. Unless we're doing it sideways, actually. And just merge them i think i'm putting more thought into this than i've ever put into any challenge like i am deep in this i'm like and what 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 was this horse's childhood like what was this horse's relationship with its parents i need to know right i think that room's done maybe i think i need to put some on there there you go maybe not delete bye you can go there that fits it more kind of hate her kind of love her she's definitely an enigma <laughs> i mean she kind of looks like the horse do you know what i mean out of all the rooms so far that room is definitely that horse's the next one and final one is this glimmer horse. I don't think I've I don't think I've got enough horses to actually make a full house. So I'll just decorate the other rooms and then I'll show you that at the end. But yeah, this horse is kind of glimmery. So I think we need to have a grown-up space bedroom. The colours are black and white, but the black and white kind of looks like it like it almost makes it look blue. But I suppose it's gray and white actually not black and white yeah, i'm gonna try and start it off with a rug i know that these are babies first rug you gotta get inventive do you know what i mean desperate times call for desperate measures i think that is actually let me just get rid of the infant's rug that might actually be a good match but then that's also like a perfect colorway well do you know what nobody ever said that we can't have two rugs do you know what i mean that's also got start i mean nobody ever said we can't have three rugs <laughs> oh my god is this my first pet stuff a really good thingy for that horse i'm gonna lay them <laughs> fuck it yeah i think that one's gotta go that one's gotta go and i think it's gonna be these two rugs and maybe that one that's too dark there's no black in it and then for the bed i'm hoping we have some type of like space themed double bed do i think we will no but i do hope we will oh but that is the exact colorway of the horse isn't it well you know what maybe like the space stuff can come out in decorations this can just be a teenager's bedroom or something i don't know or maybe the share a room maybe this can be an infant that's just been born and then that will give me some leeway on like including space stuff uh, guys i'm using my noggin today ow i think i just made myself bleed actually that one really really fucking hurt or maybe i hit a spot either way i'm in pain i know we have like room dividers but where the fuck do you find them i'm guessing other and i know that i could just search them but then if i search them it removes all of these and i know it wouldn't be that hard to put it back on but honestly you're gonna have to you'd seriously got to pick your battles guys not a room divider but i don't mind it okay that could work because it's kind of got the lights on which isn't a direct thing over the horse but it kind of looks like the, the sparkles on the horse you know i think i like that better than the cubby it's the vibe oh this is fucking stress you know what i'm just gonna caution to the wind i'm just gonna search stars just stars oh now we're getting there this fits yeah this fits the vibe maybe not those ones though maybe i just put them on top of the crib so that you know if a toddler stands up they can fucking stab themselves on that hey really they're busy oh and then we've got floor stars as well we've also got string of stars maybe i can have these going around the room and then maybe sparkle no there's no sparkle uh lit nope 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 what else what other theme base I'm, i might get rid of those stars on the back because that looks like the horse it does and i'll put them there maybe i might even get rid of them i mean that they're glittery i'm not sure about these oh my god literally back off i'm not sure about these floor stars i know that these are literally about teeth but the stars and everything do look like the horse so i'm gonna leave them up and i know that we have a framed picture of like this lass on a rocket ship and i want to find her there she goes i mean it's not 100 percent on theme you know but i like it she can stay right um, then for wallpaper i hate it that was the wrong move by me maybe that oh you know what i haven't included any brown with the hair i'll just change some things quickly now we've got it all in right i'm gonna do these rooms off camera yeah bye okay i finished it so now we are ready for the grand two hours so the outside house the first horse was this one so this is what we got on the outside oh hello deli i actually really enjoyed it i think it turned out really nice as well i well i love the aesthetic of like white side in with huge contrast with the outside so i think the outside turned out really well and then we go into the next horse for the kitchen diner this is it look uh, no i kind of like the odd shape of the kitchen like i actually don't mind it but just the different tones of wood and everything it's just it's it's really it's making something in me very unsettled and angry actually oh hello I don't mind my sim just cutting through there the next horse was this show stunner and honestly i really do think that this horse really represents this room <laughs> like i actually think i've done a really good job here apart from that rug not laying properly just ignore that bit but i mean come on 
That horse is giving this room. You cannot lie. And then the final horse, which also kind of happens to be my favorite horse. This room. I love this room. I mean, like, purposeful wise, I don't know if I'd necessarily want this in my gameplay. But aesthetics, I'm just kind of sold on the aesthetics of it. Like, this this looks like that horse. I did a good job, I think. If I do say so myself, pat on the back for me. Thank you. I also, I did decorate the other two rooms because I did want this to be a usable house. So we have like a study area here it looks really jam-packed and that's the vibe that i wanted it to give and then the bathroom is we know how i feel about bathrooms i fucking hate them and then i didn't really do anything to the porch actually i think i got too excited by the back garden and just gave up on the rest of it that's the house overall this is the floor plan of her she's 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 odd she's odd and that's that's that i'll upload it to the gallery though let's go each room different horse there we go i'm surprised that i could fill the entire thing in it's technically two bedrooms i'm gonna put it as two it's on the gallery if you do want to go and download it that is everything that i have for you today i love you all so so much please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye bitch